Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel, which is the build 22635.4800. The Beta Channel is still on version 23H2, but you'll see that we have a very big build today in this video because Microsoft is testing a lot of new features that will soon most likely be available in the release preview channel and in the main release. So don't really worry about the fact that the Beta Channel is not on 24H2 or anything like that because the Beta Channel is still getting a lot of new features if you ask me more features than the Canary and Dev channels of the Windows Insider program. So in this video, we're going to cover all that and stay tuned because we have a big video today with a lot of new and interesting features that are available in the better channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by VIP SED Key. On this platform, you can find cheap and reliable licenses for software and games. For example, you can get a Windows 11 Pro license at a very good price, and by using the coupon code TB at checkout, you can get an additional 25% discount. If you're still using Windows 10, the same coupon code can be applied also to a Windows 10 Pro license. If you're interested in Office products, you can get Office 2016 for example, and by using the same coupon code TB at checkout, you can get a license at a very good price with a 25% discount. Windows 11 Pro can be easily activated using the license by going to Activation Settings, Change Product Key, and then Windows 11 will be activated within seconds. For more information, you can check out VAP ACD key from the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, we're starting with some smaller new features in this build. First of all, related to widgets, Microsoft is introducing the ability for web developers to easily utilize their existing web content to build dynamic and interactive widgets that can be added to the widget surfaces in Windows 11. And of course, for more information, you can check out the official Microsoft blog post. Related to Windows Backup, we will now have a standard Windows 11 taskbar after restoring from a backup via the Windows Setup experience on a new Windows PC, you can still find your apps in the Start menu and search and pin apps that you want on your taskbar. Related to the search on the taskbar, Microsoft is adding improved search for web search providers in Windows Search for the European Economic Area, including clearer provider attribution in tabs. So I think that is a pretty nice new addition. Now moving on to the Settings app, the Settings app has received quite a few updates since we last talked about it. First of all, Microsoft is starting to roll out the Settings homepage for commercial customers on PCs managed by an IT administrator. The feature will show some existing cards relevant to enterprise managed PCs like recommended settings and Bluetooth devices, as well as two new enterprise specific device info and accessibility preferences cards for commercial customers who also use their Microsoft account on their managed PC. There will also be a new accounts card indicating the presence of both work and school and Microsoft account types. So these are some new changes related to the settings homepage on PCs that are managed by an IT administrator. Now, if we're going to system and then scroll down at the bottom to about, you're going to notice these new cards, these new top cards that Microsoft is adding. And these cards will provide an easy way to view your PC's key specifications, processor, RAM, storage, and GPU. So I think this is a really nice new idea by Microsoft because, of course, you can easily see all the system components. You'll no longer have to scroll down here, check the lines. You cannot even see the GPU here. And of course, this is pretty useful. So this is rolling out, but I've made a video about a week ago in which I showed you how to manually enable this if you want it on your computer, so make sure to check that out if you want. We also have changes related to the start menu in this build. So if we open the start menu and then go to the all apps section, Microsoft has worked a lot on the all apps section. Of course, as you all know, we now have different ways of categorizing these apps. We have name list, which is the basic and classic way of seeing the apps. We have the name grid, which will show you the apps categorized alphabetically. And we also have the category view, which is something new. And right now, it is way more polished and it's working way better than before. You can click on groups and it will open the productivity section. For example, you can see that we have a lot more apps here. It's pretty smooth. I would like a faster animation. That's just my personal taste. But of course, it's looking good and it's not bugged at the moment. The animations are pretty smooth. Also, the rounded corners that match the Windows 11 design principle. So I think this is pretty nice. So something new in this build is that you can now have extra items in these categories. So for example, utilities and tools. We have have three main apps shown there and also some other apps that are shown below whenever you expand the category. So I think this is pretty interesting. Of course, I'm going to make a different video which I'll show you how to enable all the different hidden features in this build in the coming days. So stay tuned for that. We also have some changes related to the file explorer. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is temporarily disabling the change that began rolling out with a previous build where file explorer opens in a new tab by default. If you have an existing file explorer window open when launching file explorer from outside of file explorer, for example, 
example, from an app or from desktop to address some issues. So hopefully they'll bring that back pretty soon. Also, you may notice that we now have this recommended section. This recommended section was available for intro ID accounts, basically work accounts most likely, but the recommended section will now be available for personal Microsoft and local accounts. So I think that is pretty interesting. And it will also show local files, not just cloud files. This was a feature discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter. So a huge shout out to him. This is really, really nice. And as you can see, I have here a file that I've recently gotten and also a photo that I recently took. So these are basically recommended files that you are working with in your computer. And you have also this section, which works just as a normal context menu, but with the addition of this button, remove from recommended. I think that is pretty nice. And you can also use the right click button to access the context menu if you want. Also, Microsoft is doing some changes to the copy open save dialog. If you go to the settings app, then accessibility, and then you go to text size. If you were to raise the text size, for example, 110, I'm going to apply this. As you can see, the text size was changed. Now the copy dialogs and all that should also be changed. So if I were to copy a file now, basically the copy dialog will match the text size that I've set in the settings app. Of course, I cannot showcase this right now because I don't have multiple partitions to showcase the copy dialog. But I think that is a nice addition that will change basically the copy dialogs, the open and also save. This is also something discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter. Lastly, this latest beta channel build adds some bits for the upcoming Windows backup for organizations with Entra ID preview that were announced in November. This was also discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter. So you can check out more info in the article below if you want to see a more in-depth look of all that. But you can also see a screenshot if you're interested in this new section of the Windows setup. As for fixes, we don't have any particular fixes in this build, but Microsoft is categorizing as a fix the ability that we've talked about a few seconds ago, basically the fact that whenever you change the text scaling or text size in settings, it will now be matched in the copy, save and open dialogues. We also have a few new known issues in this better channel build. For example, if you open a file explorer window and minimize it in this build, it may not render correctly when you restore it. This is happening sporadically. And also two new known issues related to settings. First of all, the homepage of settings may crash. If you are impacted by this, you should still be able to open specific settings pages directly by searching for them from the taskbar. And there's also a new known issue where the two new enterprise specific device info and accessibility preferences cards are showing up on non-managed PCs side in with Microsoft accounts. So this is pretty much all there is to it to the latest beta channel build. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Please also let me know below in the comments what you're repeating on this new beta channel build, what's your favorite new feature and all that. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.